Hello, welcome to my house, welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda from Mexico and I'm very happy to have all of you again here with me like every Wednesday. Look, today I will show you how to crochet this beautiful garment with your fingers. Yes, with your fingers. You are not going to need anything else and your fingers and your creativity to make it this beautiful piece. The yarn that I use is Batik, it's gold like that, it's from Alice. It is so beautiful, I love this combination that the yarn goes from purple to green. I love it how in between has a little sparkles of gray, I love it. You can find more different kinds of colors and combinations. I love making garments with my fingers, I love the experience and I love filling the yarn. Well, so I will give you the material list to start right away and let's don't lose more time. We are going to finish this garment in just one video. So let's start. For this short poncho, we are going to need one skein of yarn of Superlana Maxi Long Batik. This yarn has 250 grams. If you don't want to crochet with your fingers, well, you can try using this crochet hook of number 15. At the end, I will share the address and the phone numbers when you can get this material. Well, we are going to start making one loop, like this one. Then, we are going to use our finger as if we're the crochet hook, okay? And we are going to start making chains. I will do it slowly so you can see how it is. We are going to make 32 chains. Look how loose they are. Because when we come back, our finger has to fit in in the chains, okay? So remember to make them a little bit loose. Well, so let's continue. We are going to start this poncho by the collar when, once you finish the 32 chains, we are going to close them in a circle and this poncho is for all the sizes. So don't worry, you are always going to start with 32 chains. Well, once you fix them and they are straight, you are going to slip one to close. Grab your yarn, insert your finger here and bring them through. I will do it again so you can see how it is. You have to pay attention where you insert your finger, okay? Be careful. We are going to continue like this and you have to count that you have at the end 32 half double crochet. I will do it again. I want to make sure that we are in the same page. So pay attention. So you are going to grab your yarn and you are always going to insert your finger taking both parts of the chain. And like this, remember 32 times. Before we continue, we are going to check that everything it's okay, that it's not twist. And if it's, it's a little bit twist, well, this is the step where you are going to fix your project, okay? So in this step, you are going to fix it. And if it's a twist, well, and fix it. And without clothes, we are going to grab your origin again and we are going to take this stitch like this. This it's called crochet in relief. So we are going to continue like this, making this stitch in relief. And it is very important that you take both parts of the chain when you while you are making this stitch. Okay. So then half double crochet and again grab your turn and you are going to take the, the stitch like this, okay? very careful and again so as you can see you are taking one stitch from the back and then from the front and so far it has to look like this in the next row we are going to make the same remember we are going to take one stitch from the back and one stitch from the front always taking these T threads look and like this we are going to continue until we have eight rows i will show you how we are going to count them we are not going to count the base chain okay so here we have one two and we are starting the third one 
Look, here I have. From here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Look, and now we are going to start making extended double crochet of two crochets. I will show you how. And we are only going to take the this part, the, the one that it's in relief. I will do it slowly so you can see how it is. I'm bringing them through. Again, grab your yarn and here in this space you are going to make two together. Like this, grab your yarn, insert your finger, then bring them two and then two together. And like this, again, here in this split, where is the split, we are going to make one extended double crochet of two crochets and then in the next stitch we are going to make two together here in this space and we are going to continue like this the whole row okay so I will do it again two and then two together and then in this split bring them through and the last two and so far it has to look like this and in the next row we are going to continue making the same here in the pleat, we are going to make one extended double crochet with two crochets, remember? And then in the next one, we are going to make two together. And like this, the whole row. And then from there, we are going to continue here in the next stitch where is the pleat. This one. And again, so far it has to look like this, okay? So you have to be careful and pay attention where you are going to insert your finger. Look, so one in the pleat, two together, one in the pleat and two together. Like this, we are going to crochet three rows. Here we have one and we are starting the second one. So let's continue. Look, here I have one, two and three, one two and three and then the next three rows are going to be like this we are going to continue making one extended double crochet in the pleat and here instead of making two together we are going to make three two three And then the one in the plate. Look. Well, like this, we are going to make three rows and then we are going to make three rows more with four instead of three, okay? And so far, it has to look like this. As you can see, this is like uh, making a little wave here. So it will look so beautiful. I promise it will worth it. So remember, you are going to make three rows like this, like I am making right now, and then you are going to make three rows more with four extended double crochet, and like this until you finish the skein of yarn of maxi long. So we made eight rows of red stitch, then three rows with two, three rows with three, and the last three rows with four. And look at the colors. I finished the row here. I didn't finish the whole row, but well, until the skein of yarn finished, that's it. So after the color you made, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten rows. As you could see, it is super, super fast and super easy. It takes you less than an hour to make this this garment so I think it's perfect if you crochet for sale well this is the perfect product to make you can like if you want to make it a little bit longer well you need another skein of yarn and you can play with the colors then now you can start with the green and finish with the purple and like this experiment and I hope that you like it. 
Oigan, pues, ¿qué te well, hace so what this? Está muy bonito. I really enjoy it. It's great. I love making this kind of projects because they are super easy, super fast. And in just one day, you will finish and you will have your break. So I love that. Also, I love how it fits perfectly in all different shapes of body. So don't worry. Don't worry about the size. I'm sure it will look and will fit perfectly on you. Okay? So remember, if you want to buy this material, you can visit the online store www.lauracepeda.es and there you will see all the different colors that we have and all the different combinations. And remember, if you live close to Spain, well, you can visit the warehouse that is in Madrid. Here I will leave the others and we will be very happy to give the welcome there. Also, there you can find the medicines and all the accessories that we have, okay? So please make this break for you or for your daughters. So remember, if you could check for sale, well, this is the perfect way to make it. Remember that I make this garment with just 250 grams of a maxi long. If you want to make it a little bit longer that you don't feel comfortable with this short poncho, well, you can buy another skein of yarn and play with the colors and experiment yourself, okay? Well, also, I wanted to invite you that we are going to be in a created fair in Madrid if you are close from there well I'm sure you won't regret please visit us we will be from uh, 25 to 28 of October of 2018 remember and we will be in the stand 10b okay so see you there it will here I will leave the others where the fair, this fair will be we will be very happy to see you there we will sell all our materials and all the different uh, accessories that we have so see you there and please if you like this video give me a like subscribe and don't forget to leave all your comments and share this video if you like it okay see you next wednesday thank you so much for having me again in your house and i will leave here all my social media and you can follow me thank you so much and see you the next wednesday bye